Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new episode of Top Drives. This is one of those episodes that will be under the miscellaneous category on my in my playlists because today we're doing something completely different. I know Old Guard is out and rest assured we're starting the challenges tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to go through every single challenge of course as I do, you know me. Uh, but for now we are going to have a look at what I should use my legendary fuse tokens for. Because uh, when the tokens rolled around and everybody got the correct tokens, I thought I got no tokens. But apparently, I got three legendary fuse tokens. Which means I can fuse three times into one legendary or one time into three legendaries. You know, you know how it goes. I have three fuses to use for legendary purposes. I haven't had a look at all at my legendaries. So this will be just us going through my legendaries to try to see which one I decide doing. And of course I will decide in this video. Uh, now if you guys do enjoy content like this, if you guys want to see all of the old guard content that is, I'm going to put out, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Get in right now. I'm trying to reach 10,000 subscribers and we're a mere 900 away. So that would be absolutely amazing if you could help me out with that. Um, let's have a look now. So... If you do not know how top drives works, I'm sure there are going to be people here who are coming in and they are not really familiar. Uh, uh, these cars right here are prize cars, meaning I've won them either in a challenge series or a tri-series. Uh, these are all challenge series cars, so let me show... Uh, I mean tri-series cars, so let me find a challenge series car for you. This one was... No, no, no. This one was also tri-series and then challenge afterwards. Which car did I get from a challenge? Come on. Uh, this one I got from a challenge. Everybody did. Uh, so, some you win from challenges, some you win from uh, finals. Anyways, that's not really the point. The point is, you cannot use these in further Tri-Series uh, 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 Tri-Series events. Meaning, you can't use these cars to win a Tri-Series prize car. You can, however, use them to win a challenge prize car. Uh, that's what sets it apart. So, it is on average not as good to upgrade a car that has the uh, sh um, the price car tag uh, rather than just upgrading a normal car like the uh, Centenario here which is maxed out or the um, Sonda R here which is maxed out. Uh, I maxed them out because they are not price cars. But then of course we have the cars I have maxed out that are price cars like the Suzuki, the Senna, the 1-1 one -one, and so on. Uh, because some of those cars mean a lot to me. But today we're gonna try to figure out what to do and the Nismo GTR and so on. But today we are going to figure out what we are going to do with these free fuses. Free fuses is quite a lot and we can make a lot of stuff happen with that. I'm thinking about my off-road cars and if something should be done with those. Uh, however, I only have... Uh, mm, if we go to status and drive type, I think I only have like... Yeah, quite useless non-price car of road cars. I mean, this one is kind of good. And that could probably use a handling fuse, to be honest. 92 handling would make it quite a lot better. But is it worth it when you compare it to some of the other legendary choices I have? What am I really considering? Let's, let's think. What am I really considering? Um, I am considering doing the um, <laughs> this one because it's been a project of mine that I never finished uh, getting that up to 95 would make it a lot better this is medium if you didn't know that would be a good one to do kinda um, of course this has a special place in my heart so I would consider it but I don't think that's so good um, this one is like on its way too, uh, but I haven't done anything with it, so maybe that could be an option. Uh, of course I can't do new cars, otherwise I would probably do new cars, to be honest. Um, what else is like kind of uh, useful? I, I, I don't know, it's hard, right? If, you, if I limit myself away from price cars, it is hard uh, to choose. I guess the Ferrari is very good now, right? Um, so giving that one of those a handling upgrade wouldn't be the ho most horrendous thing to do, you know? So I'm thinking that could be an option, however, I'm not sure if that's good enough. However, I think I might do that, because that, that seems like a good call in my book. 
a lot of people are probably gonna say the Chiron, but the thing is you never use this guy. You never use him. I only use him in daily events basically, so he's kinda useless, you know. And the rest is kinda price cars, you know? But I can't wait, that's the problem. I can't wait. I have to do it now because the tokens are going away. Also, getting this uh, an upgrade on handling would probably not be the worst thing in the world to do. It's a very, very good car, so it's like it's a good thing to do. But again, it's a price car. So how good is that? It's also a Volkswagen. So how good is that really? Probably not very, you know? It's a very, very difficult call. And my Ford GT actually is something I, I, I am thinking about too. Uh, I was thinking about that uh, before the video started. This guy. I have already upgraded him once on weight. I think like he's like a good 90s car to have. Um, and he's always kind of useful. And that's it. He's kind of useful, you know. Um, yeah, other than that, I don't really know. This guy is upgraded twice. Uh, I could max him out technically, but is he useful enough? And then the cadet, I'm thinking about the cadet because he keeps coming up, you know, whenever there is like an 80s challenge that has something off-road, I always use the cadet. Whenever there is an off-road requirement where I can use a low legendary, I basically use the cadet, if not the uh, Impressa, you know. I don't know, it just feels like a decent car to, to put an upgrade into. I know it's an 80, right? And that's what's making me indecisive about that too. Um, but it's still like a kind of a good car, honestly, it is. Um, so I might actually do that. Uh, and then the 4 GT, maybe. I don't really feel the need to do the Agera final, if you're wondering why I'm not touching that. I just don't feel the need for that. Um, and in terms of high Lamborghinis, I don't know. It seems like they never are used anymore. Uh, the, the style icon, perhaps. But even that, I, I don't know. I don't know. The, the Gumpet is actually a good call, uh, maybe. Because he's a very, very good car. If I could... Uh, of course, this fuse is worth more, technically. You know, than this fuse. But it's just $500. So it doesn't really matter. But I might very well do one of those fuses on something. Uh, but, however, on the Ford, I think I would do handling, uh, if I did. I would do this to make it uh, 2.893. Uh, I think, I think I'm gonna make the executive decision. A lot of people might disagree with this, but I am going to do the cadet, I think. I, I just don't want it to go down in rarity, you know, eventually. But then we have the token system, so I'll get the fuse back anyways, right? Yeah, screw it. There we go. Oh, yeah, it, f it fuses it immediately. I forgot. Okay, yeah. So there we go. That's my cadet with 92 handling now. That's nice. That's nice. I actually really like that stat line now. Yeah, with the four-wheel drive of road tires, I really do like that. So that's a good call. I think I did a good job. Uh, with that one, you, you might disagree in the comments. I, I, I bet you the comments are gonna be like, Why did you do the 905B when it's the like most useless car? Well, that's not technically true, but it's one of the more useless cars. I use that in daily events, basically. That's all I use it for, you know. The P1 GTR is like a price car I would consider doing though, because that seems useful in a lot of uh, places. That's one of those that I might consider doing, actually, a weight upgrade on that one. Um, that seems quite solid in my eyes. I don't know about you guys, because that's a very, very, very good car. Mm, but then again, the handling upgrade on the IDR. But uh, the P1 GTR it sees more use. Uh, and then the uh, Atom. Honestly, the Atom is a good call, too, to do handling on, because... It's kind of useless right now as as what it's meant to be, which is a slalom test car. But if I gave it 97 handling, it would su suddenly become less useless. You know what? I don't think that's a bad call. Uh, 
I d might not want to do that too quick though. But I think that's a good call, honestly, because right now it's quite useless. With one handling upgrade, I could see it becoming quite useful. That's the thing. So if I'm going to do a price car, I should do one that isn't useful already. Because this is useful already, this is useful already, this is useful already. This needs one tool to become useful, and that's a handling upgrade. So with that logic, I should probably do this. You know what? That's a good idea in my opinion. I'm doing it. There we go. Because this will be way better now. And like a twisty price car I can actually use with that 97 handling uh, versus the 94. Because 94 it was losing a against a bunch of stuff. Now on the Stalin test it will beat the Ferrari. It will beat the, 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 the uh, you know, uh, any epic. You know, it will do much, much better. I think that's a good call. Now that leaves me with the final fuse, which I am quite quite um, uh, sure I want to do on a non-price car, right? I am really feeling the Duke R fuse on handling. Uh, I am also quite feeling the um, Ford GT fuse on handling. And I am also quite feeling the... Um, what else was I feeling? Uh, th this on handling, right? Because this is also a very good car. It's a tough call. It's a tough, tough call. Um, getting the... Getting the cadet up to 95 is also not a bad idea. You know? That would make that car really good. So I'm not against that idea either. I don't know, it's a difficult call here. I just gotta think about it in the way that I, this is not the last a, a legendary fuses I'm ever gonna do, right? It's just what I wanna work on right now and I have to make an executive decision quite quickly. I think I might actually do the second ca cadet upgrade to make it 95 handling. It seems like a very good one to do. Other, other I'm really considering is doing the Nissan Juke R on handling to get that up to 95 handling and medium and 3.3. That's also quite good. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's a diffi difficult one. Difficult one for sure. Um, that's non-price car. That's non-price car. Um, that's non-price car. That's non-price car. These are non-price car. Um, yeah, I don't know. Also, what I'm considering is the P1 GTR still. I might do the P1 GTR, it's gonna become, or, 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 actually, yeah. You know what, I can make this really good by upgrading it once more on handling. That's also like a good, good call. Making that 2.2100 would make it like really, really, really competent on slalom tests. But then giving the Cadet 95 would make it really, really good in everything off-road. What do I want more? The Cadet is non-price car too. I have to kind of balance that out. It's so tough. It's so tough, guys. It's literally 50-50 in my head. I think I will have more use from the Cadet, though. I think I will. It's also in this like golden position where if it goes epic, I get the fuses back, right? Which is kind of nice. So I can just put them into something else later. And if it stays a legendary, it's still a very good car at legendary, you know? Like it's it's a really good car to have that at 80, you know? A really, really good off-roader at 80. Yeah, screw it. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's what we're doing. Final fuse. There it is. 95 handling that is going to be an absolute beast now for anything off-road uh, It's going to be if we look at like my non-price car of road cars um, You will see it's by far the best, you know 4.095 well if it <laughs> non-price cars I said Ugh. Uh, There we go Yeah You can see it's by far no now it went to only price cars. What am I doing? <laughs> nice guys 
<laughs> Gnome Price Quest, there we go. Yeah, you can see it's by far the best. By far, by far, by far. It's like my only competent off-roader, you know? My only one. So, I think this was a good decision, right? If you look at it from this standpoint, right? If I'm, I need something that is non-price car and off-road, that's my only option, you know? I also like it. It might be useful in some final at some point, you know? Be, be useful to help me get the carbon fiber or something. Um, of course, of course, of course. Now I'm totally open to discussions down below in the comment section. What would you have done differently? I'm probably not gonna agree with any of you, because this is exactly what I chose to do. But feel free to tell me your view. Feel free to tell me what you would do. And don't say something stupid like I would max out the IDR or whatever, I would put all the fuses into that, because that's stupid. That's stupid. I hope you guys are more up to date on how the game works than that. Yeah, but yeah, with all of that being said though, thank you so much for watching today's episode of Top Drives. If you did enjoy it, as I said, like the video, subscribe, it would help me out a lot. If you want to discuss about your garage, or about someone else's garage, if you want to share your max out, if you want to see what's be a better tune for a car. If you just want to discuss the game in general, check out my Discord server, it's down below in the description, it's called the Top Drives Hideout. We have over 1,800 members, it's all about Top Drives, not so much about me. So you should definitely check that out if you haven't already. If you do want to see what I'm currently maxing out, I have an Instagram page where I post every single max that I do. And if you do want to support me further, I have a Patreon and a YouTube membership. With all of that being said, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, stay safe, have a good one, take care of one another, and goodbye guys.